Okay, today we're taking a look at this Nut Milk Maker. It does come with an instruction booklet as well as a recipe book, which is super duper helpful for those of us who have never made it from scratch before. I did go ahead and soak my almonds last night. So they've been actually soaking for the last 13 hours. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the container now. It said to use six of these scoops. It ended up being just under a half a cup. I don't know why it has jaws. So now I'm gonna take my water. It says one to two cups of water. I'll pour that in. You can see that there's a minimum and a maximum line. So when I did pour in just the water by itself, the two cups went to the minimum line, but there's still some left in the jar. So it does recommend that you add your ingredients first and then top it off with water, whether you want to go to the minimum line or the maximum line. I'm not gonna add any vanilla or any other items at this point, because I just wanna see how this is going to taste. So I'm gonna put my lid on. Actually, I'll show you what happens if you don't put the lid on first. So we're gonna plug it in here. It beeps at you, says these two, it means the lid needs to be secured. So go ahead and put that lid on. Then you have your menu button, and as you touch it, it selects the different things in here. According to our recipe here for the homemade almond milk, it says to do room temperature. So I'm gonna hit menu, and that says room temperature. If I hit it again, you go to warm, and it looks like it's set on the room temperature because it's the one that's not lit up. If you have a problem with it, you can hit the cancel button, otherwise it will start automatically. like it has a five minute countdown. So I'll come back and check it in five minutes. 